Let's balance the equation for the complete combustion of pentane, that's C5H2 plus O2. We say this is combustion, it's organic combustion. We have carbon and hydrogen. We have a hydrocarbon, oxygen gas, O2, and we end up with carbon dioxide and water. So this is combustion. Let's balance the equation. So I've counted the atoms up. The only thing to be careful of, we have two oxygens here and one here. Two plus one, that gives us three total oxygen atoms on the product side. We'll leave the O2 until last because it's only oxygen atoms. Changing the coefficient here, it doesn't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. So O2 goes last in combustion reactions. Let's put a five in front of the carbon dioxide. One times five, that balances the carbon atoms and the five goes to everything. So we need to update the oxygens here. Five times two, that's 10 plus, we have the one right here in the water, 11 oxygen atoms. Let's put a six in front of the H2O. 2 times 6, that would give us 12. The hydrogens are balanced. Again, we need to update those oxygens. 5 times 2, that gives us 10, plus 6 times 1, gives us 6. 16 oxygen atoms. Now it's pretty easy. We put a coefficient of 8 in front of the O2. 2 times 8, that gives us 16, and we're done. This equation is balanced. If you'd like to know the states, they'll look like this. Note that because this is combustion, it's exothermic, it gives off heat. The water, that'll be a gas at least initially. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for the complete combustion of pentane, C5H12 plus O2. Thanks for watching.